previously on Flow. I arrive in Grand Rapids, have a beer with Malcolm and Mitch, suffer from a leaky tent, and arrive in Brainerd. It's never easy leaving new friends in new places. It's even more difficult when you have to look forward to long portages. I was relieved when two dogs that wanted to bite my face off wound up licking it off. As I left Brainerd, I found myself in some pretty well protected land. I had lunch in Crow Wing State Park, and I was in for a treat. There was still a lot of wildlife to be seen. I was arriving in Little Falls and it was getting late. I was a little panicked because I had no idea where I was going to camp for the night. There was nothing listed on my maps. So what would I do? Well, I would do the most logical thing. I would pull up in the first yard that I would find and ask them if I could camp. And wouldn't you know it, they let me. So Cindy and Ken here by the river has set me up with a nice little campsite and pizza burger and apple bars and coffee just a wonderful couple they've been really great for me and um, you can see they've got a fire going on they're coming out of the house now really great couple this used to be his mother and father's house how cool is that from the 60s huh I knew I'd have to rest that night because McDougal Dam was coming up and it was going to be hell. Okay, getting up the other side of that dam is pretty difficult. So you're going to need a cart or you're going to empty your uh, belongings out of your kayak and canoe and hope nobody takes them. Uh, the next one's going to be even more difficult. It's seven miles and I've got to do this again and the other one's very steep and we're going to see how that works out. A little rough. Good thing I had the cart, and uh, we're gonna make way.
Okay, over here at McDougal, right here at the dam. Now you're gonna have to uh, take your canoe or your kayak. You're gonna have to bring it up over this road here, down the other side. You're gonna have to portage it over to another road and head down towards the water. The joke's on me. So when you come up over here, not only do you have to cross this road, but you're going to have to take it over here to this other portage here. And you're going to have to go up this embankment and then down to the river. Well, this dam just keeps on giving because as soon as you get it up here, you're going to actually cross over this bike and footpath over to this other portage. And uh, you're going to take it down this slight switchback and down across a little bridge, and who knows where else from there. After bottoming out and fighting headwinds all day, I was tired, especially after McDougal Dam. I just wanted to find a place to camp, take a shower, and eat something hot. Rivers RV Park. I uh, got me a site out back right off the river. I've got a pizza being made right now. A frozen drink. Life is good and I'm gonna go out and hit the showers on the way down and uh, live in the dream. Mm -hmm. 